Okay, so let's talk a little bit about potted apple trees. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here this evening and we're talking a little bit about something unique that we're trying here on the farm. So what I'm going to do before I go any further, we've actually talked about this tree before, had several, several of you actually ask for an update on this tree. So we're going to give you an update and talk a little bit about potted apple trees. So I'm going to go ahead and link the video here. We actually showed you how we planted this tree. So this tree has been in the ground for a year and a half. So in a year and a half, it hasn't grown a lot, but we're going to show you a couple things. So uh, the tree itself. So the tree itself is a golden dorset apple tree. So now golden dorset apple trees here in Arizona do really, really well. In fact, I'll link our golden dorset apple harvest from last year. They do just gangbusters as far as production here in Arizona. However, what we wanted to do was test out whether or not we could actually get production off of a standard apple tree in a pot. So uh, in that first video, we talked a little bit about where we're at. So we're here inside our garden. So we've got our garden beds surrounding us here. So it's kind of a focal point here in the middle of the garden. We wanted to have something a little bit unique that we wanted to test out and kind of see how it looked in the garden and then of course how it did. So, so far in a year and a half, not a tremendous amount of growth. However, I do see some new growth from this year. As far as the tree itself, we left it, left it more of a bush. So when we got this tree, we got it from Reed at RSI Growers. Uh, we talked about him before. He does a fantastic job with uh, your different types of stone and pome fruit. This is a pome, P-O-M-E fruit or an apple. Um, so the tree itself is uh, just a fantastic variety for us here. Now, usually very, very aggressive. The tree itself is aggressive. The roots are aggressive, grows very, very quickly. Um, and reed trees have always done very, very well for us. However, this tree, the pot itself is doing a fantastic job with keeping it nice and really dwarf size. At a year and a half, we've got other trees that we planted at the same time that are good three times this size and the same age. Uh, but if Lori wants to squeeze in, let's look a little bit more in detail at the apple tree. Let's talk a little bit about the pot. We talked about the pot before. Um, this is actually a cement pot. We got this pot, I believe it was from Lowe's. Um, I don't know, I think when it was like 70 or 80 bucks, less than $100. Um, we got that uh, as a cement pot on purpose. It's very, very heavy, even before you get any soil in there. This tree itself, if it continues to grow at the rate that it is now, a foot or so a year, you know, in a couple years, this is going to be a five or six, seven foot apple tree. So we want to make sure that it's going to be able to actually withstand the tremendous wind that we have here in the Whitman area, as you can actually probably see the, uh, this evening. Next thing, obviously, is going to be potting soil. In that first video, we talked a little bit about potting soil. You know, we just use that Kellogg's brand potting soil that you can get from Home Depot. I think it comes in a pink and white bag. Uh, it works fantastic. Now, mulch, you'll see there's a lot of wood chip mulch in here. We talk a lot about wood chip mulch. Obviously, this does an amazing job with keeping the moisture inside the soil very consistent, very important for a fruit bearing tree, especially if you're in charge of making sure that it has enough water. So got plenty of wood chip mulch. We use the same schedule and same type of fertilizer on this tree that we use on our in-ground trees. So we use uh, tr traditional, typically what we'll use is composted pig manure or composted chicken manure. One of the two, mix it down into the wood chips. We do that three times a year. Now you can probably uh, fertilize a little more often. So if you wanted to go with say like a fish emulsion fertilizer, I'm sure you could probably do just fine with that. You'd want to do it more often. So maybe once every month or two. Um, and then you do that throughout the growing season. So the tree itself, um, I did a little bit of pruning to keep this in open center because I wanted to make sure that any fruit that's in here ripening is going to be able to ripen, uh, whether it's on the inside of the tree or the outside of the tree. Got some really good strong growth coming on this tree, actually coming out of the winter time. In fact, looking at this tree here, just in the last few weeks, it's grown about almost a foot. So you know what? I may need to even revise my uh, assumption as far as how fast this is growing because that's that's a good 10 inches or so of growth right there on that particular side. So now, more and most importantly, potted apple trees. Yeah, it's cool and all, but do you get any fruit off of it? 
take a look at this little cluster of apples. So we've got four apples here in this one cluster. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of thinning in here, getting a little bit of bird damage on these, which is not unusual, but got a nice little cluster here. Looking back here, I've got a nice little cluster of four back here. And as we continue to look, I've got a nice little cluster of three apples here. As we go a little further, I've got a nice little cluster of four apples. He's a little chewed up, but four apples here. I've got another apple hanging out here by himself. So I've got 13 fruit on this tree that's been in the ground for a year and a half. So check that out. Potted apple tree here in the Arizona desert. It gets blasted with heat where it's at here right now. And you know what? We've got fruit in a year and a half. So just want to thank you for joining us today. You know, if you haven't done so already, hey, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't checked us out on Instagram and Facebook, we post content there that you won't see here on the YouTube channel. Questions or comments, we love interacting with you. Leave those in the comment section down below. And if you haven't seen it already, we've got our Amazon page up and running. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Anytime you use that link, it doesn't matter what you buy. You're helping to support the channel here and the work that we do, bringing you content just like this. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. We cover a lot of things around. <laughs> I need to zip that. Through that link down on the... Uh, <laughs>